Welcome back. This is the Prico channel. If you are new here and you are interested in coding, productivity, or digital nomad, please consider to subscribe. Just click in down below on the button and be sure that you click on the bell so you can get up to date to all the content that we are uploading over here. So in this video, we are going to create a WordPress plugin and we're also going to interact with an external API. I know that it's going to be super fun, so let's gonna convert this coffee in code right now. We are here on my local WordPress dev environment. So the whole idea is that I'm, we are going to do two plugins today. So the first plugin is just, is just going to be a simple setup. So you do not need any um, other system. I'm going to use WPCLI later, but I, I want you to explain what is a really necessary thing for having a plugin on WordPress. So to just create a WordPress um, plugin, the only thing that you need to do is just create a map directory and then add a, a file with the same name and some header requirements that WordPress uh, needs for just to specify to the system uh, the name of the plugin, author, things like that. So let's go to do that and do a small echo and then we are going to do our plugin with all the features that I want to set up for. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go here on my console where I live pretty happy. And so let's make a make here uh, test login YouTube and let's make a sub L here and I'm going to create a file with PHP and the header requirements that I mentioned you before, which I already have in here. You can just simply look at for WordPress plugin header requirements and you can just simply copy this. Set over here. So let's go to make something like YouTube plugin test. Io and test and the name of the text domain, whatever, just for the testing, it will be test plugin YouTube. Okay, so if I save this, it should have the same name as the directory. In this case, it's test plugin YouTube. So test plugin YouTube.php. Save it. And in my console or in my system, this. So there should be a plugin, name it here. Oh, look at that. And I can activate it over here. And this is the plugin that we just created. So that's it. With that, we have just created a plugin. So what you can do with a plugin? Well, you can set many mm, functionalities on the system. So let's just simply do a simple echo. Hey guys, this is right code on YouTube. So let's just see what happens. When I go to the page and it should just show it me here. Well, it's not that cool, but well, the info is there. Hey guys, it's right code on YouTube. Oh, okay, this is not a great thing for a plugin, but the whole idea is just to, to, to understand that for create a plugin in any function that you want to do, with the only thing you need to do is just to create a view on the plugin um, directory on WordPress and then a file with the same name. So it's gonna make something more robust, okay? So let's kind of eliminate this. Let's just save this. And let's go into rmm slash b test plugin YouTube. And let's go into make an SQL and I already had it, the command here. So WPCLI allows me to create a plugin and it has a template for it. And I can just simply add the name for it. And if I just simply type something like a WP scaffold plugin, fry code, whatever the name or YouTube or whatever you want, I just simply enter. And if I go to the sublime, so look at what I have here, see? 
It has the readme tags, it has the file, it has PHP unit, it has package, grunt, many files that maybe you're not, we're not gonna use in this case. Maybe in upcoming videos I can just make better things for it. But uh, I just wanted to show you how cool it's using the WPCLI because you have everything, uh, you know, like a out of box, you know, with a simple command you can create many things. So let's go into edit this. Let me go on site this. And the whole idea of this plugin is that I'm going to show you how to interact with an API. And we are going to connect our plugin with an open API that allow us to get information from movies, for example. I already have it over here. This is the omdbapi.com. To connect with this API, you should, um, you should get an API key. I already have mine. So the only thing that you need to do is just go to API key. You put your email over here and I send, for example, my email here, Alejandro at Prico.io. And I just click on submit and you're going to receive an email with uh, the specifications and the API that you are going to use for interact. So, the, well, the plugin that already have it over here. So I can simply activate it and we can go on our code and I can just simply change the name here. So it's going to just, I don't know. Code.io, YouTube, Login Development, we'll see, the authors can be Tricode, and it will be Tricode.io here too. Look at that the name uh, of the file is the same one as the, as the folder, and you can also create text domains. So text domains is how the plugin is going to handle several languages for the system. We can talk about that later. And the domain path will be like in a folder where the, all the languages are going, to be, are going to be there. We can talk about that in another video, but yeah, just keep it in mind because it's pretty useful. And the version of this is going to be, I don't know, that's uh, at, Couple zeros over here, so zero, 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 number one. And that's it. So with this, the plugin, look at that. The description is always here and everything is going to change over there. So as I showed you before, the application, I mean, the, the, the comments are going to set the information for WordPress. So as you know, WordPress only, I mean, it works with several hooks. So what is a hook? Hook is, if you're coming from JavaScript word, maybe it will be easier to tell you that it's in a callback. So uh, the moment that the WordPress uh, waterfall start to, to, to run, you know, it has several breakpoints that you can add functions to it. So at the moment that the systems in need, you know, you can set, hey, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, hello, or whatever, you know. So you can add many several functions that can happen in many points of the system. So the WordPress hooks is a total apart video. I can even create a new video uh, just to explain you better that. But with this uh, plugin development videos that I'm going to show you how you can interact with, okay? So imagine that you have special breakpoints on the at the moment that the WordPress system is loading, and then you can set information of functions in that specific room, okay? So uh, the first thing that I want to do with this application is I want to uh, set up a, um, a menu, okay? I'm gonna create a menu that is going to show in, a w, in our WP admin. And there I'm going to set a form. And with that, I'm going to interact with that API that I showed you and show you that information. 
in the in the next video i'm going to do more things with that but for now that's where we're going we're going where we're going to do in this part one okay so the first thing that we need to do for that is just to create a menu and for that we are going sorry we are going to add an action to the admin menu hook admin menu hook so this and we are going to always keep in mind that the functions in your phone in your plugins they need to have the same prefix for all the system so in that case so if i'm if my plugin name is pride code omdb uh the whole idea is that all my functions should start with pride code omdb whatever i want okay so this is a security uh, standard just to not uh, have the same names with all the plugins in the system. Okay, so it's a private code ONDB and let's go into set at the menu. Okay, so I'm going to create a function here, private code ONDB admin menu and I am going to use the function admin menu page it's going to add a name i mean a title for it. it's a private code menu uh private code movies uh, i think it's better for that private code movies and uh the name is also the title that is going to appear in the, in the menu if we here what it's going to use the let me show you one thing here at menu page there you go if i click here it's going to show me all the parameters so it was going to be the page title that is the title that's going to appear in the in the wordpress page wordpress admin page what is the title of the menu what is the capability it means the capabilities that the user needs to have to access to this. Because the menus lock, menus lock is a page that is created only for us. The function that is uh, going to show what is inside of our plugin. Uh, I mean, if I want to show just a simple H1 or a message, or if I want to show a form as we are going to do, there is an icon URL that I'm and there's a position the position is going to tell us where in the menu of the left hand is going to appear okay so so page title I already had it uh, the menu yeah menu title capabilities in this case I'm going to show those manage options this is for administrators I'm going to set something like a search movie for my Manuals lock and not uh, the the function that I'm going to use is a pry code OMDB show for because it's what I want to show. I am not going to show any any uh, icon URL and I'm going to set a position for I don't know let's say number five. Okay, uh, I think that here there is yeah here is the the position, the position, uh, you know, hierarchy for, okay? So if I do this, I should have then this function just to show something, okay? So let's say that I put something here called private ONDB show form, and we are going to just simply say, H1, hey guys, I'm here. Okay, there you go. And if I go to here, and if I reload the page, there's going to say, hey, Pride Code Movies here, hey guys, I'm here. So as you can see, the page is a virtual slot that the system creates for me. So it's going to respond to this slot, search movie. And it's going to just show what I have in that function, okay? So what I can do with 
Okay, let's try to set then the, uh, the form for this. And what I want to do is I want to use this API. Okay. And I want to create a form that I can put a name of the, of the, of a movie and show all the results on the system. Okay. So I'm going to just, uh, just put up the title here, like search movies. And I'm going to add a form with an action and it will be uh, just a pound because we are going to use Ajax for this. So method is going to be post and the ID is going to be search movie. Okay. So I click it here and Set an input type item and the name is going to be the action. So the action is pretty important because it's how we are going to tell WordPress how to handle our sub, our information. Okay, and the value is going to be movie search action. It's going to close the tag this and we are going to set a text and the name is going to be movie no value for this and we are going to set another one called submit and the value is going to be I don't know search okay so uh, if I reload the page for that yeah, look at that. It's going to hey, search movies and this could put whatever. Okay, so we need to handle that information. So we need to just be sure that we are sending the information and it, we need to just build out what to respond. Okay, so that's going to add an, a script over here. So we are, yeah. Okay. So, okay, okay, so we are going to then set a script here. And with that script, what I'm going to do is that at the moment that I click on the submit, I'm going to send the information to a bucket. So we're going to create this and then we are going to set the information for, okay? And so what we are going to do is, so jQuery, search movie, on submit, function, Let's add a value here that is event, that is uh, the moment that submit is happening, jQuery is going to give me the event and I want it just to prevent the default. So to add, add, add adding this on prevent default is because it's not going to submit the form, it's just going to just stop it over there and do whatever I want, okay? And I sh it should happen something here, like, a, I don't know, let's say try code, post data or whatever, okay? And I'm going to just send a function. There's a pry post data. And here, what is going to happen is that I'm going to send this to a jQuery post. And this is important. What I'm going to, where I'm going to send this information is to the admin dash, admin dash, post PHP file. So WordPress has a system that allow us to handle actions similar to WP Ajax that I can just simply send information and it goes to, and is it going to uh, handle it by the actions that I'm sending for. So if I send an action um, for the system, it is going to allow me to handle it in a, in a simple handler function 
just with the prefix of the admin post. Okay. So for this, I'm going to say a hey, admin URL, which is going to return me the whole admin URL on WordPress. And I'm going to say, hey, you know what? It's admin post.php. I'm just going to write it here, here for this. And there you go. So that's the URL where I'm going to send the post. If you want to just look at for the information about the post on jQuery, I'll just, just go on WordPress, um, I mean on Google, and just type jQuery post, and there's going to be information how to look at the information, um, uh, documentation for that. Okay. So I need to send the URL, I need to send the data in this case, and I need to just send the function with the response for that, okay? So this is just some stuff like a template that I'm going to create here, and I'm going to say, hey, you know what, just simply just look at the response, okay? And, okay, now we, have, we are sending the information, and then now we need just to be sure that we are receiving that information. Okay, so let's do that. And let's going to say, hey, you know what? Just that function, write code, OMDB, uh, post handler. Okay. And we are going to just say, hey, you know what? To the action, remember, hooks. Hooks are the main part of WordPress. If you want to just develop something on WordPress, you have to keep in your mind that the hooks are everything, okay? So, admin, post, this is the prefix, okay? Underscore, the action. In this case, I am sending this action called movie search action, okay? So movie search action, and the name of the function that in this case is going to be private code ondb post, whatever. It means that at the moment that I send any information with an input that has an action called movie search action is going to happen this year. That's it. So let's just set something like an echo. Uh, YouTube guys, you rock. Let's see what happens here. And it's gonna add an exit here. So it just stop the. Uh, um, let's just stop the, the execution over here and if everything goes correct it should um, just in the console log should show us YouTube guys you're wrong. let's see if that happens I'm not quite sure right now but well let's see what happens and let's just add bar data here as an empty uh, as an empty object. So, because it's going to ask me, you know what, data it doesn't exist, so it needs to just be sending whatever. And uh, let's see what happens. I don't think that it's going to work, but I want to show you more or less, I mean, this structure so you can have it in your mind, okay? So let me reload this. I have the jQuery here. And if I click, oh, look at that. Uh, line 158. Let's see. Oh, okay. I have a typo here. It's a function. Okay, I'm done here. And let's going to add action. Movie search. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it needs to just work. Let's see. If I do whatever here. Test. Oh, look at that. YouTube, guys, you rock. So that's it. We are sending the info. Now we need to connect with the OMDB API, okay? So what we need to do for that? Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create the connection. Okay, so let's gonna create a function. Let's say it's Prycol OMDB. Uh, API connection, okay? And we are going to add a search, uh, <coughs> search uh, variable, okay? So what does it mean? It means that 
following the API rules here, I mean, the API documentation here, it says that if I send something like, uh, let's see, uh, by title, by ID, well, it's not working with my S. Well, what I do here is just to simply just add a search here So do that, if I just click here, let's see. No, it's not using my API. Okay, well, whatever. Well, the whole idea here is that if you put any movie here, let's go and look for some, for example, for Batman, Harry Potter, whatever, it should return us a array of, uh, in, in a JSON format that we can just iterate just to set that thing, okay? So let's gonna try to do that fast. And for that, we are going to use um, just an arcs. Okay, sorry. We're going to use a function called WP remote get. And to use that API, we just need to set HTTP www. Sorry, one moment here. Yeah. Yes. ONDB API.com. And we need to send an argument. So the argument that we are going to send in this case is going to be just simply the body and an array with the data. Okay. So let's gonna set art over here, arcs. And arcs are going to be the API key, which is important. In this case, I already have my API key and for security purposes, I just wanted to use get option uh, ONDB API key. I already have saved it on my system and it's going to use that one. You can just simply put your string here or whatever, like a, I don't, want, I don't know, this is your key and you could put it over there. For now, it's just this. And I'm going to send the, bar, the parameter S with the search that I have here. And um, with that, we should get a response. And if you go to Realty Remote Get, this function is pretty useful. If you come from PHP plane, uh, this is just like a using call and or just using Gossel or any other, I mean, you have you, have you worked with that before? So here on WP get remote, we, I mean, this is the information that we should send is the URL as I already have it over here. You know, <coughs> as I said, this is just like a using, this is, the WordPress framework version for um, a cure connection, just using get, it's the easiest for now. And uh, similar to use Gossel, if you have used it before on Laravel, for example. So yeah, I, I would like to use this. So the return of this is going to be uh, an, an error if, if something happens. But if not, it's going to give us an array. So it's going to say if is that would be error response. It's going to just simply return false. But if not, uh, to get the information that we have, uh, need to just simply return the response body. Okay. So if it's a WP ever, yep, this is more or less how it should work. So with this, we are going to get information from the response body. Okay. And uh, we need to just get the handler for this. 
and we need to uh, get the movies from there and just respond it to the to the to the jQuery to the Ajax call. Okay, so let's gonna make that happen. And for this, I'm not going to send. I'm going to just tell. Uh, you know what? Send all the information that I have over here, serialize. So jQuery has a function that allows us to send all the information from a form. And just to simply just do this, something like a jQuery. Search. and it will send all the info on the inputs that we have okay I can also do something like uh, data I don't know action and manually set these as I did before you know and do something like uh, movie and I do make something like uh, jQuery Input name equals movie and val, you know, but this is the easiest form for this, okay? So I just wanted to, to mention to you so you can keep it in your mind anytime you want to send information over the JavaScript, that, that's a good way for it, okay? And uh, if something goes correct here, we should then uh, tell, hey, you know what? I want to get a response as a JSON. Remember, as I said, if you want to get information about this, just simply set jQuery post, and you will see the information about it. So just get a reminder here, it's just to set the URL, the data that needs to be sent, and uh, this is the, let me show you the best example here. Oh, look at that, the serialized that I just used. This is pretty cool. And it will be the URL, the data. In this case, it's the serialized. And this is the function, and look at that, I want just to get a response as JSON, okay? So, uh, JSON, and I want just to know what the user has typed. Okay, so let's say JSON encode post. And let's see. Here we should try to get all this information that we have over here. Okay, so let's just test here how it goes. So if I type this, oh, look at that. I'm getting action, which is the action that I set, and the movie, which is this input name, and with the info that I just typed. So with that info, let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do here. And let's say that we have then a movie. We need to sanitize the field always. So sanitize, fix, text field. And it should be a post. Movie. And we should then get a response. I mean, it should be try code, ONDB, API connection with the movie. So we are sending the movie to our function and it's going to give us a response. So in that case, if it is uh, showing us the response, and we should just simply say, it. Hey, you know what? Just tell me what you got, okay? So let's see if I do something like Batman here. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what it's returning. It's not doing anything. Okay, well, the name, the Let's go in again. This Batman. There you go. 
okay, I'm waiting for you. What is the response? text field, movie, API connection, ah, the same here, response, that's the reason, let's try it again, Batman, console, oh, look at that, <laughs> we have the response here, and we have all this information, so, what we can do with this, <laughs> let's just make something cool, and so, we get this if response okay we can set a diff here let's see if id something like a search response so if response that response equals true in this case it's just like this because as you can see it's returning me this uh, this field which should tell me that it found something okay I want to just simply clean this it's gonna empty this and this diff and I want to append something like okay well this is going to give me an array with this value, name it search. So I want to go on each of them and uh, each of the values, and I want to just simply print the title or, for example, the poster that I have over here. Okay. So let's uh, do something like a jQuery. That each on response. that search and function index value and I want to do jQuery append here and I want to say ID and here title for this and it's going to be plus plus value title let's see what happens there and it's gonna look for Harry Potter oh this rips some oh, same sorry 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 response yeah and again Harry Potter oh look at that <laughs> we're throwing in the names okay so let's gonna add something cool here and let's gonna say image source dot dot uh, value dot poster and a simple break here. Let's see what happens. Let's go for Superman. Oh, what happened here? Oh, value poster. Oh, look at that. Do it over here, Superman. Oh, look at that. We have all the movies. <laughs> so we brought all the movies to the system on WordPress. It would be cool just to save them as a post. I'm going to show you that in the next video. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.